Year-old Nathaniel Benton this morning. Benton was arrested in a field not far from the Holiday Inn where the officers were shot early this morning in Waukesha County. That's about 30 miles west of Milwaukee. Police say Benton is also wanted for attempted murder in North Dakota. Both officers were wounded, but they are expected to recover. Turning to the latest coronavirus news, Wisconsin breaks another record for new COVID-19 cases today with more than 6,100. Of the 20,000 test results available, 29.5% of those were positive. We also recorded 62 new deaths, very close to breaking the single-day record. The total number of cases in our state now is more than 250,000. Two more Green Bay Packer players have been added to that list. That's a day after the San Francisco game. The Packers have placed linebacker Chris Barnes and quarterback Jordan Love on the reserve COVID-19 list, according to a statement released by the team today. Barnes left the game last night with a calf injury. All players are now tested for coronavirus daily. And Local 5 sports reporter Matt Reynoldson will have more on this development later. Well, ThetaCare in Fox Valley has announced that they are going to begin community testing, but in rural communities. They'll be hosting mobile testing sites starting Monday at Shawano High School. They will move to Wapaka and then Wild Rose through the rest of the week. Testing is free. No appointment is necessary. Well, Marinette County opened their COVID-19 community testing site today. And if you missed it, there are two more days you can go to get tested, November the 20th and December the 4th. The county will be testing at the Marinette County Highway Shop. That's in Peshtigo. Testing, first come, first serve. So they ask that you prepare to wait some time. Well, as the number of COVID cases continues upward, universities around the state are offering rapid testing on campus. UW Oshkosh is the latest with a high-profile visit to get the word out on the ease and speed with which you can get tested. Rhonda Fox in Oshkosh. UW Oshkosh is the latest campus to become a federally supported surge testing site for the Oshkosh community and will also use new technology. U.S. Surgeon General Jerome Adams and Wisconsin DHS Secretary Andrea Palm toured Wisconsin's latest surge testing site. UW Oshkosh is one of 13 surge testing sites across the university system campuses. What's special about this site is that this is the first time a federal surge testing operation will use the Abbott Binax Now test. This test provides results within 15 minutes. Officials say shortening the wait for results will hopefully get more people to test. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is providing 250,000 of these rapid tests to the University of Wisconsin system campuses. Now, today's announcement follows our report this time yesterday on new rapid testing at UW Green Bay. You can get more information on testing around Northeast Wisconsin on our website, wearegreenbay.com. Along the lakeshore, a massive $195 million undertaking to harness the power of the sun is complete. Local 5's Chris Schuler shows us the Two Creek Solar Park, which is now online. On 800 acres of land along the lakeshore, solar panels for as far as the eye can see. It's among the uh, largest uh, that I'm aware of uh, in the Midwest at this time. It's the Two Creeks Solar Park, a facility built in part by WPS to harness the power of the sun and to reduce carbon emissions. By 2050, our goal is to be net carbon neutral for the generation facilities that we operate. This is the first large scale solar project built in the state, a joint effort between WPS in Madison Gas and Electric. Ground broken last August. It uses 500,000 solar panels producing 150 megawatts of energy, enough to power 33,000 homes. Just like your wrists will rotate left to right, uh, the panels will follow the sun from sunrise to sunset every single day. Each of these panels weighs roughly 40 pounds each, and they're expected to keep collecting the rays of the sun for the next 30 years. Cullen says this is the first of two solar facilities to be built by the two utilities. Another, Badger Hollow, is currently under construction in southwestern Wisconsin. We anticipate that our customers will save more than $100 million over the life of these two projects. It's green energy that will help WPS customers save money while the utility lowers its own carbon footprint. Thanks to this field of solar panels that went online this week. In Two Creeks, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News.
WPS says the cost to build the solar park dropped by about 80% in the last five years.